car when I'm older. <laughs> I guess you're not going to drive in a car when you're older. <laughs> you can't even drive a trolley. <laughs> There you go, you made it. <laughs> Maybe we will let you drive a car when you're older. That's it. There we go. Where does that go? Yeah, I thought it goes up here. Well done. Guys, I've got a massive, massive food shop um, to share with you, but it's really warm today. Not complaining about that. But I need to get this frozen stuff away um, ASAP. Just been to Sainsbury's. Collie discount is 20% today and yesterday. So I'm making the most of it. Also, Felicity still unable to walk. Got really excited this morning. There was a NHS letter came through the post. I was like, yes, something about Felicity. No, Sienna. I was like, Sienna. Why have I got that for Sienna? And it's a um, speech and language um, appointment. Why? They're just gonna come and see you at school. But that doesn't... Yeah. She's, not, she's not keen on that idea. Um, so yeah, because of her knee, going through shopping is a bit tricky. Daddy, so she's gone over to Bella's house with Bella's mum. Just popped round to pick her up and she was just sat there about to have some lunch. So I've left her there, come home, gonna show you the frozen stuff really quickly. Put that away. Oh, um, like, before we start, Sienna's just doing weightlifting with the milks. Um, before I show you everything else, because yeah, it's been out of the freezer um, long enough. There's literally barely anything here. Reason wise, not a lot. I've got two um, packs of ice creams, some more of these chicken bakes. They didn't have our usual um, chicken steaks. They only had the southern fried ones. So I picked those just one box up because I'm not sure if the kids are going to like them. Um, two of the Finn and Crispy pepperoni pizzas, some chips and some peas. That's it for frozen, but I need to get it in the freezer. These things I'm not too worried about, but those ice creams, they will melt super quick. Food, frozen food away. Um, take a breath. Goodness me. Um, you guys are like, wow, she's manic. Um, I am today. I really am. I was having a proper hissy fit this morning because it's just... I'm really tired. I'll tell you why I'm tired. Because Jamie and Brooke have come in at between 12 and 1 o'clock in the morning for the last two nights. And the second they walk through that door, the dog acts like we're being burgled. And I don't want to get cross at the dog because that's what, you know, we'd want him to do if we were being burgled. However, we're not being burgled. It's just teenagers rocking up back at home at stupid o'clock at night. And then last night, I couldn't get back to sleep because the police helicopter was circling. Kev was snoring. Um, everything was just, you know, like sensory overload for me. So I'm really tired, really grumpy as a result. And Laura came over with Bella to pick Reese up. And I, she was like, you all right? And I was like, no, I'm fed up. I've had enough. House is a mess. I need to do the food shopping. They're all moaning that there's no food in the cupboards. But nobody wants to help me by um, watching the girls or watching Felicity whilst I go food shopping. Um, so yeah, this is real life, you guys. It's not always sunshine and rain rainbows. It might sometimes look that way, but it really isn't, never has been. Um, and I'm like, I just need someone to take some responsibility, look after Felicity, whilst I go and do the food shopping. Oh, well, they all have plans. Um, plans, I will add, could have been rearranged. Um, so Laura to the rescue, she said, well, I'll take Felicity home with me and look after her. So she's been at Laura's and like I just said, I went to pick her up, but she was about to eat lunch, so I've left her there. Um, but because it's such a stress to go food shopping, because Felicity can't walk very far, um, I thought, let's try and get as much as possible and hopefully it can last us through the Easter holidays aside from needing to do like a top up probably a larger than usual top up shop but I don't have the storage nor have I got the brain capacity to shop for two whole weeks nor do we have the trolley size like I struggle to fit all of this in um so yeah I will still need to go shopping next week but it won't be a massive shop um and then neither <laughs> neither can I now afford for it to be a massive shop because this just cost a pretty penny um I'm going to finish getting it out on the side and then I will show you what we've got. I think I've got an idea of what meals I'm doing. Um, and yeah, 
yeah, let me just get it out. Do you know what, actually? Sometimes I hear people going, why on earth would you want to get all your shopping out on the side and show it to everybody? Why wouldn't you want to just put it away? But if I'm honest, it actually makes putting it away easier because back before I vlogged, and I mean, I have been doing this for a long time, um, I would have just been stood here like completely overwhelmed by bags and bags of shopping. Whereas now I shop, I make sure all the fresh goes in one bag, all the frozen goes in one bag. And then once it's all on the side, I organise it when I put it away rather than just throwing it away. So this does kind of help by doing it this way. But I do hear people probably going, look how flipping stressed she is. Why on earth would she even want to do that? Well, here we are. Here we are. You do not need a bath until no, later. No, I said mummy get bath. You get bath with a new baby. I gave birth? Oh, birth. I thought we said bath. This is my new baby. She's called Penelope and she's three hours old whilst i was doing the food shopping i also gave birth because i am that incredible is that right yeah right you can look after penelope for me though yeah good girl i'm going to start over here with the usual three milks obviously that's not going to last us two weeks probably won't even last us a week um but sienna has just told me we've got half of one in the fridge i picked up an orange juice was going to pick up an apple juice but they didn't have any um and then onto meats i've got two packs of the chicken breast these are 1.6 kilograms currently on nectar for um eight pound fifty now on a week where the teenagers aren't all about we might be able to squeeze a couple of meals out of one of these um or sometimes we need an entire 1.6 just for one meal um one of the meals is definitely chicken stroganoff and another is going to be nando's chicken burgers which i'll get ciabatta rolls for um on the day so they're nice and fresh but I think Kev did a video of this before, um, but it's basically like you marinate it in Nando sauce and you do it with halloumi and it's really delicious. Um, but we had a Nando's halloumi meal a couple of weeks ago and I've still got like half of the marinade left. And I was like, right, I need to use that up. Otherwise it ends up going in the bin. So that's one of the meals. Sausages, I've got two packs of those. They're on offer at the moment for £3.33. So I'll do sausages one evening two minces one is going to be spaghetti bolognese one is going to be lasagna pardon you can have a snacky thing yeah which snacky thing would you like um i think like? i'm gonna go have a plate of snacky stuff. you just want a plate of snacky stuff well you've already had a pepperami would you like a cheese string and a and a yolly yeah make a snow cat okay in a second um <laughs> i've got two packs of bacon this is still on nectar for two pounds and i've got a tripso ring i've got one in the fridge last week i bought two and then there wasn't that many people eating so i only used one and everyone loves that meal the chicken tripso i did read a comment somebody made it themselves and said they enjoyed it um so that's on one of the videos last week um if you want to look for it it's a really yummy easy um creamy pasta tripso um meal so that's another meal and then roast we're not having roast tomorrow because we've got our friends coming over so we're gonna have roast probably on monday or tuesday tomorrow we're well, gonna I'm have on we're having a brewster's breakfast on monday yeah um i'm gonna do roast on monday or tuesday tomorrow i'm gonna do a easter tea party and i was really hoping i'd be able to get some more easter sort of focused snacky stuff like cakes and things but it was all gone so i will try the local shops because they tend to have stuff left over um for longer than what the supermarkets do they've got loads of easter eggs in one stop um but that is tomorrow night's tea like an easter tea party and we'll save the traditional um easter roast which i know is usually lamb but only two people in our house like lamb and I cannot stomach the smell of it cooking um, so we're gonna have beef and that was a good price that was 11 pounds and four pence on the nectar so that's what main bits of meat that I've got again obviously there's probably with jack and potatoes that I've got as well and what else did I pick up there's probably just over a week's worth of dinners so I will still need to buy some bits next week, but not a shop on this magnitude. Um, I picked up a small thing of coleslaw because I make my own coleslaw from scratch. But sometimes when I'm having lunch and I'm like, I really fancy some coleslaw. I'm not going to make coleslaw just for me. Um, so I picked up one of my favourite. This is my absolute favourite shop bought coleslaw. Haven't had it since last summer. So I'm hoping they haven't changed the recipe. No, I didn't buy carnation chicken, darling. I can um, try and make some of that though. Okay. 
I've got some parmesan. Oh, I'm being shouted again from Riley this time. Yes, Riley? What's for lunch? Um, I'm not sure at the moment, Rue. Is it, is, is it oh, I don't know, is he? Forgot Riley's got a friend coming over. Um, yeah, parmesan to go in the trizzo pasta. Two blocks of cheese. This is on my prices for £2.40 or £2.60. Oh, hey, hang on a minute, Sienna. You want one of those, do you? Yeah. She's trying to snap the yogurts apart. So I picked up two blocks. I also picked up two blocks of halloumi um, to go in that Nando's burger meal, trezzo slices, and then, like, snacky stuff for the fridge. Two lots of Oreo yogurts, two lots of Philadelphia dippers, um, creme fraiche, that's to do the stroganoff, two lots of cheese strings, two lots of these yollies. Mom, you got one yet? Oh, no. Uh-oh. Which one's got the hole in? Right, just leave it there a second and I'll sort it out. Um, <laughs> I love shopping with Sienna. Four lots of the Happy Monkey milkshakes. Um, worked out like 80 pence after discount. Creme caramels, some uh, baking block. Sienna insisted she likes the red pepper armies. Sienna does not like the red pepper armies. Um, she just had one in the car. Half of it is still in the car. And she was saying, my mouth's on fire, my mouth's on fire. Um, but I got... Two packs of pepperamis, two lots of the Rana um, pasta, filled pasta, two boxes of eggs. I feel like it's two of this, two of this, two of this. Two lots of fridge raiders, two lots of cream, um, some clotted cream. I was going to... No, they're fridge raider Fridge raider Um Clotted cream. I'm going to make some scones. I wasn't going to make some scones. I was going to buy some, but they didn't have any. I didn't have any in Aldi either, so now I'm going to have to make some. Um, and then the, I did pop into Aldi for a couple of bits. I picked up some of these, which are now spilt, plain yogurts. These are only 89p in Aldi, um, and Reese Reese loves the yogurt. So rather than him eating most of these, so no one else gets a look in, I've picked up some of these. Corn on the cobs, didn't have any of those in Sainsbury's. Sweet potato pakoras, I enjoy those. And that's it, I think. I'm just going to clear up this mess and put this lot away. On to the dry goods. I've got two cases of 24 Pepsi Max. Um... They're on offer two for sixteen pounds. So with my calculations, that worked out about twelve pounds sixty after using Jamie's colleague discount. Should I be drinking this much Pepsi Max? Definitely not. Definitely not. Have I been trying to give it up multiple times in the last two years? Yes. Have I succeeded? No. Um, but I don't drink as much as I used to. Maybe two to three cans a day. More often than not, it's three. Um, but I used to drink five, four or five a day. So I don't drink as much as I used to. Um, but yeah, I still can't kick that habit. I'm afraid I do. I do. I would love nothing more than to be able to not need my Pepsi Max. But I know I'm not alone. I know there's lots of people like me. Um, I've got chopped tomatoes, two things of passata, baked beans that I probably don't even need, uh, three tins of tuna, some garlic mayo, some strawberry jam to go with the uh, scones when I make them, two things of squash. This is what I mean about I don't have the brain size to, to remember that I'm trying to shop for two weeks as I'm walking around because I buy two a week. So I should have bought four of those if I wanted it to last me two weeks. Um, so I have to buy that next week. I also got some diet lemonade, which is for the girls for their little tea tomorrow night. Um, just a little treat. I've got some ketchup, some apple sauce to go with the sausages, white lasagna sauce, some more pasta cheese and broccoli pasta and sauce um i've tried lots of the different like cheaper versions but it, they just don't cut it it's got to be the packet one we don't have it very often um it's like a sort of a lunch a go-to lunch thing during the school holidays um some stirring sauce to go on the field pasta riley will have it with stirring sauce and if like brooke or summer were having it they'd probably have it with some pesto and we've got that already riley reminded me as i was leaving this morning don't forget it's chocolate spread week so we've got chocolate spread just had to stop then because reese bella Laura and Felicity came back. Uh, I think I got to about here. Reese has been here though, fiddling around with everything. Um, spaghetti, pasta stirring sauce, a couple of shower gels, some toothpaste and some mouthwash. Stuffing to go with the roast, two boxes of chocolate squares um, and also one of Cocoa Pops. I only buy chocolate cereal if it's a school holiday. So this will probably last about three days. And my favourite or all of our favourite granola is back on offer. Three pounds. Um, and Laura just said, oh, that looks really nice. She said, they've really done the packaging well as well. And I was like, I know it feels really indulgent. I know it says indulgent, but it feels like it feels posh and it tastes amazing. So um, that will probably also last about three 
three days. And then a few bits from Aldi. I got some sultanas, some noodles. There was four packets, but um, Riley's just had a packet for lunch. He's got a friend coming over in a minute, so I'll probably have to stop again in a moment. Might get this shopping all vlogged and put away by the end of the day. Uh, I've got some pastry. I'm making a pie for tea tonight. I already made the filling um, the night before last. It's in the fridge. So I've just got to make the pastry and whack it in the oven. Job done. Um, hot cross buns. No more lemon and white chocolate ones. They're all gone. And that's it now, isn't it? So I picked up... Oh, I thought I'd picked up two lots of salted caramel. I haven't. Oh, St. Clement's and honey hot cross buns. Okay, so I've made a bit of a boo-boo there because I thought they were the salted caramel ones. Hopefully Riley will like them because I bought two packets. Fingers crossed. Um, Warburton's seedy thins back on offer as well 125 so i've got two packs of those i love shopping for offers i don't like paying full price they're normally like one pound 85 so 125 much better a uh, packet of paninis two packs of wraps and some bread so that is all of my well most of my cupboardy bits i'm gonna put that away and then get the next bit out on to crisps i've got a pack of 12 selection two packs of discos they don't usually sell discos in our Sainsbury's and they were on the shelf, didn't have a price on them. So I thought, I wonder how much they are. And they were actually on next price for £1.35. These are Summer's favourite crisps. So she'll be really pleased that um, those are now um, on sale in Sainsbury's because we never used to get them because they don't sell them in Sainsbury's. And then from Aldi, some of these fish and chips. So yesterday I was in there and... I spent £23 and Reese kept putting things in my basket. And I was like, Reese, stop putting things in the basket. We don't need crisps. And then today, um, Sienna went, oh, we like these and put them in the basket. And I was like, I'm not having this argument again. We'll have the blooming fish and chips. So we got some of those as well. And then all of the snacky stuff, which I'm hoping will last us a, a wee while. I've got some yogurt breaks, some go ahead fruit bakes, two lots of these mini Oreos. Those were on my prices for... I think it was about 90p. Um, so I picked up two boxes of those. The pick-me-ups were also on my prices for I think £1.20, something like that. Um, timeouts, clubs, wagon wheels, and Kit Kats were all the um nectar priced chocolates this week. And the Maryland minis were 90 pence, I think, on nectar. So yeah, quite a lot of snacky chocolatey stuff. But you know, it's the Easter holidays, guys. Um, if you've got kids and it's the Easter holidays, if you haven't heard, can I have a snack at least 10 times a day? Are you even a parent? Um, and then biscuits, I just got the usual, really. Um, some dark chocolate um, digestives, rich teas, whatever they are digestives party rings some fox's creams and some custard creams and then because i don't think i'm going to be able to get any um easter cakes i've picked up two packs of these harry bows some carrot cake slices some lemon slices and some cherry bake wells i also picked up some meringues in aldi and i thought my um little ones don't like scones but they do like meringues so i'm going to do some meringues with some cream and strawberries and raspberries on top um, so yeah, quite a lot of cakes, but like I said, we've got friends over and we're going to have a Easter tea party and we're also going to take them out to do an Easter egg hunt and I bought one of these each for the two younger girls, Felicity and Sienna and their friends River and Faith. So at the end of their Easter egg hunt, they'll have one of these each. Um, and that's everything I think that I got, like snacky stuff, loads of it, absolutely loads of it. And apparently I didn't even need to buy that much because I just got down our snack tub and it's still chocker. It's still got loads in it. So I'm now going to find somewhere, <laughs> somewhere to put half of this because we didn't even need it. I need to learn to check my cupboards before I go shopping. Last but not least, on to vegetables. I've got a bag of baby potatoes, two bags of carrots. These are currently 15 pence. Um, ten to stem broccoli is one pound twenty. Um, ordinary broccoli is one pound something. It's on the weight, isn't it? It's done on weight in there, and it's currently half price. So those two pieces of broccoli came to one pound and a couple of pence, um, which is brilliant because broccoli has become very expensive. Uh, Savoy cabbage was fifteen pence. Parsnips fifteen p. Swedes were fifteen p. So I picked up a couple of those. Um, I think that was it. They had potatoes for 15p, but I bought four bags from Aldi yesterday um, and they were 
were they 15p as well or were they 19p either way they were absolutely massive these potatoes so i picked up four bags and i'm going to take them out of the plastic and find find somewhere to store them with all the other stuff that i need to find where to store um three onions they were nice big huge onions today some baby leaf salad some tomatoes mushrooms um lettuce i've got some baby gem and an iceberg some beetroot a couple of cucumbers, a couple of peppers. Again, those were a really good size as well. Um, a white cabbage for making coleslaw. Two bags of gala apples, some lemons, some easy peelers, two packs of strawberries, a melon, and some grapes. Also, I've got some toilet roll and some kitchen roll. And I think, I think that's everything. I think I've done it all. It's now 10 past three in the afternoon. So hopefully this will last at least 10 days. I know I'm gonna have to go shopping again but not for this like magnitude of shopping. Hopefully, fingers crossed, it'll all last. But receipt wise, Aldi is the first. This isn't today's receipt. This is yesterday's receipt where I spent 23 pounds and 17 pence on potatoes. Those were 15p and they are huge. They were like proper big chunky potatoes. So I've got four bags of those, like I said. Um, I bought new razors, butter, there was no butter because I bought that yesterday, um, Riley's dinner, and then a load of crap that Riley, um, that Reese put in my, in my basket. Uh, but yeah, that's yesterday's. I don't think I took today's receipt because they always ask an Audi, do you want your receipt? I don't think she even asked me. Anyway, came to 17 pounds and some pence. I just know it was 17 pounds something. And then Sainsbury's, massive receipt, huge, big, long receipt. Have a, have a, well, remember when this size receipt used to cost you £100? Not anymore. Um, this came to £239.63. Ouch. And Collie discount was 20%, taking off a massive £47.92p. Um, I'm honestly, I say it all the time, Jamie is never allowed to stop working in Sainsbury's. Um, that made it a total of £191.71. pence. So I've on the £17, that's why I'm 110, um, I wish it was 110. And then if you add on the, what I spent yesterday as well, 230, £230-ish in the last two days on food. That is just absolutely eye-watering. Um, but the cupboards are stocked, really well stocked. The fridge is well stocked. Um, I'm hoping that we don't need anything more than like a, I don't know, I can't, I can't afford for it to be another massive shop, so it has to last. Um, but I'm hoping I get away with like um, a just a nip to the shop the middle of next week and top us up until the kids go back to school. Um, but yeah, everything's full. Let me show you my most prized organisation in the fridge. See, when Kev's here and he's doing the um, the putting away whilst I do the vlogging, he just throws it all in, like shoves it all in the fridge. I organise it like this. This is my most organised part of my house and no one sees it. <laughs> the most organised part of my house and it's hidden in the fridge. Um, so yeah, this is for kids' snack drawer of fresh food. Well, I don't really think you can call it fresh food. Highly processed crap food that all children need to see them through lunch boxes and school holidays. Um, because like I said, if you don't hear, can I have a snack at least 10, 15 times a day? You've not even got children at home in the holidays. Uh, but yeah, that is all full up, all um, stocked nicely and organized. I now need to try and find somewhere to put all of this fruit and veg. Um, and I've got a wet leg because I just took the lid off the hot tub before Riley and his friend and the rainwater had collected on the lid and I had to try and tip it off without letting it go into the hot tub and I soaked myself. And it's quarter past three in the afternoon and I don't know where the day's gone. Um, but anyway, thank you for watching today's food video and me just, you know, generally talking a load of crap. Um, I was buying a load of crap, actually, evidently. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching guys. I will see you all very soon. Hope you all have a lovely Easter. Um, tomorrow and Easter Monday and we will see you at some point over the next couple of days but yeah whatever you're up to have a great one and I will see you soon